Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 65 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In this video, uh, we are working, we will work on the user dashboard. Actually, when we click on the dashboard link, we will show some analytics like uh, how many courses I have enrolled, how much, how many I have favorite courses, how many I have recommended courses. And uh, we will also see that how many assignments I have completed and how many pending right so let's uh, let's implement this thing in the user dashboard in the previous videos <coughs> i have worked in the mainly assignments so from 61 to 64 you can see that these are all related to the assignments you can check this video and uh, i'll also i also request to please uh, join this channel okay and subscribe this channel and uh, like all the videos including this and follow me on github instagram facebook and please support me via razor and paypal okay so let's start the video i'm not uh, going to just uh, you know okay so <coughs> uh, we have we uh, first of all we will open this component right so here we are in the django lms front end we don't need this front end and then source and we have component user and uh, after that we have dashboard.js file right and uh, in this we will show the things right so from the when we call this okay so uh, if you if you if you see if you see in the if you see in the teacher dashboard then you can see that when we click on the here dashboard then it is fetching the data similarly we will do that okay so i'll open the teacher component and i'll open the dashboard uh, where it is teacher dashboard right so i'll copy all the things and paste it in the dashboard okay so this will be just a dashboard not a all the thing so this is just a dashboard right and uh, we don't need this suite alert because we are not going to perform any actions right and we don't need this uh, actually we don't need this actually params okay we just need student id right so student id and here it is okay so fetch we will say student and we will set the data okay so dashboard data local storage and we will say total uh, we can say enrolled enrolled courses and this will link to the my course right so let's click on the dashboard we have okay it is seeing something error we'll see that we'll see that later uh okay so let's remove this actually we will mainly copy paste after that when I'll explain you right so here we have a dashboard what it's saying console and uh, can't resolve teacher sidebar oh uh, where it is oh we don't need this actually we need this sidebar only you not know, the teacher sidebar we just need sidebar huh so sidebar right here we are just a moment this is sidebar okay here we are okay good now here it's a teacher sidebar let's click on the students okay why this is not working teacher id is not defined in dashboard.css teacher id is not defined actually it's seeing right right good and what other things this is teacher dashboard click here student dashboard and we need to see enrolled total enrolled courses uh we can see uh we can see favorite courses favorite courses right and we will say assignments not recommended courses assignments 
okay so we will fetch these data hmm so enrolled courses favorite courses and assignments right so let's uh, check this you uh, check this url at how we are doing for the teacher dashboard right so we'll copy this hmm? and uh, let's go here and this will be student dashboard right student dashboard and let's win i know that we need to create this so let's go in the views right and we have teacher dashboard right so let's go here and we'll copy this okay copy this and where is the student no result oh I understand so teacher dashboard is here okay teacher dashboard here the teacher dashboard let's add the student dashboard so here we can add this and we will say student dashboard and this will be student and oh and this is student serializer oh no student serializer yes right now let's go to the model hmm? let's go to model here we are so in the teacher model you can see that total teacher course total uh, teacher chapters total students i'll copy this right and from the model we will return the data right so student here we are hmm? let's define the methods what we need total enrolled courses right and total favorite courses mm -hmm. favorite courses okay and uh, what we need others completed assignments and we will also copy pending assignments right so pending assignments okay so <clears throat> so first of all enrolled courses enrolled courses right and uh, favorite courses favorite courses and then uh, complete assignments complete assignments and then uh, pending assignments pending assignments okay so from the model uh, student student course enrollment will fetch this student equal to self right so this will fetch the total enrolled courses okay now what about the favorite courses so how we are fetching the favorite course right let's see student favorite course model okay here we are so okay so from the student favorite course model we will fetch the data so let's say student favorite course huh? and the student equal to this favorite courses here we are now complete assignment so what is the assignment student assignments right and student equal to this and student status equal to true okay so this will send the complete assignments now we'll copy this and paste it here 
and this will be false so this is pending assignments right so now let's go to dashboard and what we need a dashboard data enrolled courses and what other is favorite courses assignments so assignments uh, we will divide this in a two parts okay let's see what we have now currently okay now let's go to the data okay network let's go to the network what's fetching dashboard response okay it's student dashboard 2 hmm. so here is the url okay if i put here student dashboard and this is student dashboard and if i go here student model and this is student serializer okay and if i go to the teacher dashboard okay so we have oh we have another serializer teacher dashboard serializer we have already so we need to create a student dashboard serializer huh so let's create student dashboard serializer here student student let's open the serializer okay so we have teacher dashboard serializer we'll copy this right hmm. here and this will be student because via the serializer we can fetch the data okay so we need to do this here we are now this is here okay so from student dashboard this is using student serializer in the student serializer we can use the method so enrolled courses and then favorite courses and then completed complete assignments you can say okay and then pending assignments let's copy the pending assignments also right so paste here okay so now let's see what we have huh 500 error we have field name enrolled courses is not valid for model teacher yes error is right we are wrong now let's take a look and now yes so enrolled courses favorite courses okay so if nothing then uh, okay no problem uh, we can also make it like like uh, return we can say if if pending assignments greater than zero then we will return this else else we will return zero let's see hmm. okay let's see copy paste paste okay hmm. it will not return zero i think hmm. so let's see here response Compl oh, oh actually we didn't uh, put anything oh we don't need this this is all right but we don't need this actually my mistake is i didn't i didn't put the uh, data or already we have okay so complete assignments so it will show okay this is completed assignment huh? so we don't need this actually in the edge what we will do uh, ok 
okay if we have we need a key to which don't need this link so let's say completed completed to let's make it six or five and let's say pending pending assignments okay all right so completed to pending zero okay so i think this is fine let's make it six let's make it six right so let's okay so now what we can do also completed to let's make it uh, here not here because because it's creating extra spaces yes this is fine now <coughs> what we need to do i'll add a link here okay so that student can see the assignments right so link yeah oh i think on all the oh sorry this mm, copy paste and this will be two equal to slash slash assignments my assignments right and then enrolled courses will be my courses right oh sorry this is my courses and uh, favorite courses okay so let's link that also copy paste paste my courses and this will be favorite courses hmm favorite courses okay so i think we are done with the with this i think okay let's make it uh, five i just want to make the symmetry yeah this is fine this can work okay so pending the completed two pending zero let's add the word completed in the link okay so when we click on this assignments dashboard enrolled courses favorite courses right okay so we have completed the dashboard okay so in the next video uh, we will work on the profile setting and then in the next we will work on the change password like we have done in the teacher dashboard okay and after that we will work on the quiz system right so i hope you are uh, enjoying this series and uh, uh, it's almost uh, i'll complete maybe tomorrow or maybe uh, okay after a day but uh, we will complete this then i will start some other django project with the uh, react or vue.js please tell me in which we i should start and then and that uh, that project i will also convert in a react native okay so we will include the react native also with the api right so thank you so much for watching this video okay thank you